Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make, a, make a, a, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. That is just a fact of life. Hi all, it's Adam at the Impact Lounge here, and I'm uh, delighted to say I'm joined by Trevor Lee. How are you doing, Trevor? Good, man. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Fantastic. So you were just talking beforehand. Uh, it's not the first time in the UK for you. No, uh, I think this is probably maybe my fourth or fifth time. Yeah. Fourth or fifth time, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, what are you? Who are you wrestling tomorrow? What's uh, what's the the match that you're tomorrow? In? I'm wrestling uh, Rich Swan and Matt Sydal in a triple threat X Division competition. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. So, just with regards to the uh, the programs that you've been working at the moment, obviously involved uh, with Eli Drake and a Colt Lee kind of storyline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that? Because obviously, Colt of Lee, you were very much the leader of that faction, and now you're kind of riding on the coattails of Eli a bit. So, what's this? Kind of thought behind that. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm just not, just not, it's not working out for me. So I thought, you know, maybe, maybe dumb, maybe, maybe he could have helped us, but you know, he's, he's being hard to get, I guess. You know, he doesn't want to be our friends. All we want to do is be his friend. But he's a cool guy, but hey he doesn't. Friend. Yeah, there he is. Dummy. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, unfortunately, he's a jerk, <laughs> and uh, he doesn't, he doesn't put up with me and Caleb's shenanigans. But uh, maybe one day. So where is Caleb anyway? Uh, unfortunately, I think Caleb's at home. Uh, it's hard to get him through customs, you know. He's too crazy. I think it's the beard. The yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I know you got through, but... Uh, yeah, barely. barely. Yeah. So, so with regards to Colt of Lee, is that something that's going to continue, or can you see yourselves going your separate way anytime soon? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, who knows what, what comes in the future, but, you know, I, I like Caleb, and I like to continue to work with him, but uh, if, if we have greater success parting ways, then... That's just business, you know. I'm multi-time X, sorry, multi-time X division champion. Uh, most recently, going for the the tag belts and those kind of things. Where do you see your future? Uh, I'd like to win every championship TNA has to offer or Impact has to offer. Sorry, uh, I, I have. I was a former tag team champion. I was a former three-time X division champion. Mm -hmm. So, I only need one more to have the triple crown. So, I'd like to, you know, mark that off the bucket list. Fair enough. I, and I take it you're sticking around for the long run. Uh, I'm sticking around, you know. We'll see. <laughs> well, that's a bit. That's a bit ominous. Come on, you can't just say. You know, that you never know. Go. Future, you know, you never know. I may not be able to walk tomorrow. <laughs> that's that's a fair point. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, as we said, uh, multi multi time X division champ, and um, from your your original kind of introduction along with um, Hurricane Helms mm -hmm. or Shane Helms, I should say, um, you have developed quite quite a lot since then you know a lot more time on, on the microphone those kind of things yeah looking back at those days with, with, with Shane Helms do you kind of regret not being able to talk more to the audience those kind of no things? not at all uh, I came in uh, a young kid you know and uh, I, I needed a mouthpiece but uh, I hadn't quite found the confidence mm -hmm. that I needed to really uh, be able to express who I am so uh, it was great to have a mentor like Shane Helms to uh, just have my back uh, not even in front of the camera, but behind the camera, and uh, mm -hmm. just take care of me in general. You know, just a kid coming into a grown man's business. You know, like there's a lot of things uh, outside of just wrestling that you have to take care of. And mm -hmm. luckily, like he took care of me, and uh, I don't regret anything. It was great. Excellent. Yeah. And how do you feel you progress? I mean, is that something that you want to do more? Because we've seen a lot of backstage skits with uh, the Mumbai Cats and yeah. uh, LAX and those kind of things, but they kind of s stop doing them. Is that something yeah. you're trying to get back to? Yeah, I'd love it. As, as much time as I can have in front of the camera, I, I definitely want. Uh, you know, it's just there's a lot of guys on the roster and there's a lot of spots to fill. So, mm -hmm. I mean, just the fact that I'm there is enough, you know. You know. Okay, and, uh, and Bound for Glory, what are you looking forward to about that? Uh, Bound for Glory, you know, hopefully I'll be featured in a big match. You know, uh, maybe maybe some stuff will come up, you know, who knows. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely want to show, okay, I wasn't on Slammiversary this year, so I was a little upset about that. Uh, if you look at any of my past pay-per-view performances, uh, I definitely, you know, show out. So I definitely hope to be on that stage of Bound for Glory. I mean, we might want to sound like a fanboy, but yeah, it, it is this way. Because I, I don't think I've seen you in a bad match. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. I appreciate uh, that. No, that's, yeah. that's a genuine compliment, by the way. Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously, are we going to see Caleb in that kind of scenario? Or do you think it'll be more back in the X Division? Or can you not reveal that at this point? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm always... Uh, 
I think I'm always going to be able to be put in the X division uh, just because I can I can go with those guys. But, you know, I would like to move up. But at the same time, I'd, I'd like to have some tag success with Caleb. So it's really just feed me anything at this point, you know. And, of course, tomorrow, you, as you said, Rich Swan. Is it Piggy Williams as well? Uh, Rich Swan and Matt Sidell. Matt Sidell, sorry. And uh, I think you were Rich Swan's first opponent, weren't you? Remember? Exactly, yeah. That was his debut match, yep. So what's going to be different tomorrow? Uh, this time I know what to be prepared for. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. And uh, just, uh, obviously, as you said, you know what to be prepared for. Just off the road and off the, the screen, those kind of things. Do you tend to travel with, with Caleb, with Rich? Uh, who do you tend to hang around? Backstage? Yeah, uh, Caleb hangs out with us. Uh, we have a we have a good little crew. Uh, me, Eddie Edwards, Moose, uh, Eli Drake, Matt Sidell. Uh, we we, we kind of all stick together. We have a good little group there. Um, so, yeah, you know. And, of course, uh, you've got some kind of history with the Hardy Boys as well, haven't you, yeah. going back. So do you still keep in touch with them? Of course. Uh, my father actually started Omega Wrestling with uh, Matt Hardy, which uh, ended up producing, I think, 17 talents that got signed to major contracts, which in the 2000, uh, well, 1990s, really, that, that was a big deal. You know, there yeah. wasn't companies doing that. Uh, so... Uh, those guys trained in my yard from the day I was born, so I mean I'm always going to stay in contact with them. They were the guys that helped train me as well, so uh, we, we do definitely stay in contact. Yeah. So you were around on, on the Willow days then, when you exactly, in, in yeah. Yeah, 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 right, okay. So and, and did you ever think to say to Jeff, uh, yeah, maybe not, or <laughs> well, I guess you might even right. He was he was always uh, <laughs> yeah always a crazy guy, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So so do you think we'll ever see those guys back? Or would you like to see them back? Uh. I don't know. Maybe I not Matt. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think they're gonna, you know, continue to do good where they're at, and I think they'll probably retire there. But you know, they they've done enough for us. You know, twenty years in the Absolutely. business. You know, so just uh, I'm sure they'll stick around. I know Matt for sure will stick around, just backstage and whatnot. But uh, of course, I'd love to see him back. But at the same time, I, I don't want to wish anything. Anyway. I do. We don't want to talk about those guys. Yeah, they're yeah. Another company. Yeah. Back to yourself. So, yeah. so, so you said that. Uh, your father was involved with Amiga Wrestling, those kind of things. So who, who's been your mentor throughout your career? And who, who would you say has given you the best advice? Uh, definitely uh, my father would be one of those top guys, uh, Matt Hardy, uh, a man named Jeff Rudd, uh, based out of Burlington, North Carolina. Uh, that was kind of my, my real home promotion of CWF Mid-Atlantic okay. uh, in North Carolina. And... Uh, from the time I graduated, I had, I had kind of stuck with CWF uh, before I had broke out anywhere, and they uh, they took care of me. Uh, they let me run the training school. I still run the training school at, as of now, and uh, definitely just those top three guys right there, and then Shane Helms as well, uh, the guys that have really helped me out the most, for sure. And with regards to the advice piece, what's the best bit of advice that you've been given in this industry? Uh, mouth closed, ears open. <laughs> I think that's that's valid anywhere, isn't yeah, it? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So tonight in Manchester, you said you've been over the UK five times before. What, yeah. what are the plans tonight? Are you going to hit the town? <sighs> no, this UK scene is You've wild. Got the shirt. Um, You've I got mean, the shirt. I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. But man, these this this UK scene, they they like to party. They they get down. Uh, it it's a fun time. Maybe we'll head out tonight. You know, we got a wild crew, a bunch of top guys. You know, trying to have a good little time. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a little something, but uh, who knows? Just by the way, it's really disappointing that you've lost the shirt on television. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm guessing you do wear that casually. Yeah, well. exactly. I mean, it was always a good look. So yeah. yeah, I want to see that back. Thank you, thank Just you. Just the same as Christopher Daniels doesn't look right without an apple teeny. Yeah, you don't look right without the shirt, <laughs> so you have to bring that one back. Appreciate it. Anyway, so yeah, so good luck tomorrow. Thank and you. Um, what what are the consequences if you win X Division shot or? Maybe. Uh, I haven't heard anything in the works, but definitely if I win over a uh, former champion, Matt Sidell, and, uh, you know, up and coming Rich Swan in the division, then I think, I mean, it has to put me somewhere close, you know. Uh, Brian Cage is a monster, but uh, out of the three guys that are in that match, I think I'd pair up best with him, you know. Well, uh, certainly I'll be, I'll be rooting for you on that one. Just before we finish up, because we've got about, you know, three, four minutes still to go, uh, I'd like to ask you, because you've been there a long time now. Yeah. Uh, but, but, how long is that? I'm just trying to think. Three uh, years? Four years, maybe? Yeah, I want to say I came in in 2015. So three years, yeah. So, so you'd have been there when it was still TNA, as you, as you said at the beginning. Yeah. So you've seen a lot of change over that time, a lot of change in creative and those kind of things. Yeah. At the moment, what, what can, you, can you summarize how it feels backstage compared yeah. to, to the old days? 
Well, ever since I came in, uh, it, it's it stayed the same as in the locker room. Like uh, we have a very strong locker room bond. Uh, everybody likes everybody. Everybody gets along. Everybody wants to work together to get better. Uh, some of us have, you know, some of us have not went through a lot of the changes, and some of us have went through all the changes. You know what I mean? So. Uh, Ultimately, we're just trying to put on the best product we can. It doesn't matter who's uh, who's running creative or who's our boss. Like we want to perform and we want to show that we're just as good as everyone else. I think that always shows in the wrestling, anyway. But with regards to creative, as you brought it up, um, how much input do you have into that now? Is it a yeah. collaborative process? Is there is it Sanjay who, who's more involved in, in uh, your storylines? I tend not to, you know, I tend not to talk too much. You know, I just I just happy to have a job. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So, so you go with the flow, dear. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm still young, so I got time, you know. Uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, mouth closed, ears open, just wait See, for the spot. You keep saying about being still yeah. young. I think it's the beard. Yeah. The beard makes exactly. you just feel like yeah, 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 yeah. You got 20 That's years. That's why I grew it out. Yeah. 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 So yeah. just on that, on that as well. Just one final question, just about the beard, the look, the, the. The hirsute body, yeah. really like the hair on the body. I take it that was a conscious decision to go with that look. For sure, yeah. Uh, about in 2013, I had broke my jaw. And uh, before that, I had had like the short hair, clean shaven and everything. And then when I broke my jaw, I just kind of just gave up. And I was just like, I, I'm not going to be one of these guys that just has the flashy gear because that's what was, that was, that was still big, you know, like. Uh, they want to see the flashy colors. I was like, I'm just gonna wear black. I'm gonna look bland, and I'm gonna sell people with my in-ring product. And uh, I feel like I've been able to do that. Yeah. Excellent. Well, two more questions, and no then problem, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you enjoy yeah. rainy Manchester. Uh, yeah. Uh, however, you want to call it. Um, first one is just about Andrew Everett. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen him on screen at the time, but. Any gossip you can give us on that? Is he still with the company? Is yeah. He... Yeah. Andrew Everett's still with the company. Uh, Unfortunately, he had dealt with a few knee surgeries, but uh, I think he, he's he's back to full percent. I bit my tongue, full percent now, so he's doing good. It's just uh, like I said earlier, there's there's so many guys and there's very little spots. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, but he is still part of the roster, um, and I'd, I'd like to see him back. You know, uh, but again, it's just you gotta wait for your spot. Gotta wait for your spot. All right, then final question, and then uh, we'll let you go, Trevor. What's the uh, the best bit of gossip you've heard about yourself, which may or may not be true? Oh man, uh, or even about uh, someone that you know? Yeah. Or do you want to spread some gossip? Even better, yeah, 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 start, yeah. start a rumor. Man, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. I, I really don't know how to answer that. Any good gossip or gossip about myself? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> good, good question. Yeah, I, I wish I had an answer. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I've just nothing's coming to my head. Yeah. Well, we'll catch up tomorrow. You can have a think about yeah, it. Yeah. If you think something, we'll tweet it out. Yeah. There we go. There we go. But for the time being, good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Of course. Uh, thanks, it's been guys. a real pleasure meeting yeah, you. Yeah. Of and, course. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see you in that ring, and uh, we'll be holding up our we'll, we'll wear our Hawaiian shirts tomorrow, John. There we go. There you go. Cheers, Trevor. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, Trevor. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.